sodium and sulfur. Attention! Sodium can cause chemical burns on the skin and reacts violently with water. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. Sodium belongs to the alkali metals and is so soft that it can be cut with a knife. Then the metallic surface can be observed which is usually covered by an oxide layer. It's best to use a small piece of sodium, because otherwise the reaction cannot be started as fast. Next, the rest of the paraffin oil is removed, in which sodium is usually stored. Then some sulfur is put on a fireproof surface and a small piece of sodium is added on top. At the end, a drop of water is added on top of the sodium and an exothermic reaction takes place. To extinguish the sulfur and prevent the formation of large amounts of sulfur dioxide, the residue is covered. Sometimes several drops of water are needed when the piece of sodium is larger. The chemical equation looks like this. Sodium and sulfur react to form sodium sulfide. If the sulfur is added on top of the sodium, the water is repelled because of the sulfur being hydrophobic and it becomes more difficult to start the reaction. In addition to that, it's also more difficult to notice the beginning, which increases the danger. This was the reaction between sodium and sulfur. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment. Thank you.